Hi everyone, this is Evans Nicholson from the Product and Solutions Marketing Team here at ServiceNow. Coming to you from my home office. And if you listen carefully, you might be able to hear the birds that have set up their home office right outside that window there. Nothing I can do about it. It is springtime in North Carolina after all. So at ServiceNow, one of our main goals is to provide a consolidated view of multiple data sources. Now, if we think about this through just an IT services and operations view, we ingest discovery data events, metrics, and logs from dozens of systems. And if we zoom out a little bit, speak more generically, not talk about IT services and operations, it's hundreds of integrations that we have with other solutions, other platforms. It's one of the reasons why we call ServiceNow the platform of platforms. We also innovate very quickly. We're always updating, adding new features and functionality to our software. And it's with that in mind that I wanted to circle back to a Lightboard video I did just a few months ago and update the demo section. So if you're interested in what's new in the area of AI ops with ServiceNow, take a look. Over to you, Evans. So let's look at this through an IT lens. Let's say there's a service outage at your company. It's a mission critical service. You need to get it back up as quickly as possible. It's an emergency. Could be a lot of reasons why the service is out. Could be DNS, domain name service. Turns out it's not that, that checks out. And remember, this list could be very wide. There could be a lot of things, a lot of paths to go down. It could be very complicated. Now, in this, in this case, we found out the disk was full. It could be a lot of reasons why the disk filled up. It could be that scheduled task didn't run. But it turns out the SQL team left on trace logging to troubleshoot their database, which makes sense. But that caused the disk to fill and caused the service to be out. Think about how much time and how many people you need to throw at this problem. And it needs to be done quickly, right? So that's where we need help. That's where we need AI ops. Today's IT operations teams need to utilize data science models and workflows. And they also need to work towards utilizing more informed and intelligent automation. Using AI fundamentals like machine learning, pattern recognition, and continuous improvement, ServiceNow's AI ops solution helps in this way. And so let me show you exactly how we do that. Amelia Bryant, who's on the operations team, is utilizing the new ExpressList view of the Service Operations Workspace. ExpressList is available in the Innovation Lab for ServiceNow customers. This allows operations teams to see at-a-glance information to help triage and resolve issues. Issues that are otherwise hard to spot in unstructured and out-of-context events, metrics, and logs. ExpressList provides a quick way to create and save custom filters in order to stay focused on what's important. The ability to copy and share custom links allows others on the operations team, as well as people who are not yet familiar with the ServiceNow platform, to access the things they need to see in order to better do their jobs. Centered around a consolidated single-page view, Amelia can easily preview individual alerts from a group before drilling down. ITOM's Health Log Analytics uses machine learning to help define patterns and identify anomalies by parsing logs. Logs are a great predictor of events to come, and in this example, Amelia sees that there's a 358% increase in logs associated with Oracle DB. Scrolling down, we can see that HLA has parsed out the content of these logs and is showing a large percentage is trace data. Viewing log data in this way increases operational efficiency while at the same time reduces human error. This helps Amelia and the rest of the operations team speed up time to resolution. And that's the main point. This is a great example of AI ops. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief demo and brief explanation of ServiceNow AI ops. For more information, check out the AI ops product page. And for more longer demos, check out the demo now section of our website at this address. Thanks very much, and I hope to talk to you soon.